So, hi everyone. My topic is about the chapter 8, Experimental Designs Between Subject Designs. So, these are the topics that we discuss for today. First, introduction to between subject experiments. So, we have a two kinds of experimental design. First is between subject design. Different group of scores from a separate group of participants. So, between subject design is a type of design that you will comparing the scores from the separate group, while the within subject design is a different group of scores are all obtained from the same sample of participants. So, this is a type of group that you will get the two sets of scores of your participant and, and that's all obtained from the same sample or the same treatment conditions. So, these are the characteristics. First, it compares separate group of individuals. Second, it allows only one score per participant. Uh, and because of each scores represent a separate participant, between subject design is also called a different uh, independent measures or independent scores. So, it is also requires a separate or independent group of individuals for each treatment condition compared. So, the goal of between subject design is to determine whether differences exist between two or more treatment conditions. So, these are the advantages and disadvantages. The advantages, each individual scores is independent of the other scores. And it is also called an independent measures. And each participant is exposed only one treatment condition, so therefore, the participant's scores is not influenced by such factors as first in the practice or experience that gain in the other treatment, second is fatigue or boredom that is participating in the series of the treatment, and last is a contrast effect that is from the comparing in one treatment to the another. So. These are the disadvantages. First is can be complex. Second is individual differences. For example, the gender, age, or personality or background of your participants. And indiv individual differences can become confounding variables and also can produce high variability in the, in the scores. So, and it also required a large number of participants and also need a new group for every treatment and manipulation. So, individual differences as confounding variables. In a between subject design, each level of independent variables or treatment condition is represented by a separate group of participants. So, as you can see, we have uh, two groups, the treatment one or the two treatment, the treatment one group of relatively older participants. So, while the treatment 2 is a group of relatively younger participants, if the scores in one group are different from the scores in the other group, the difference may be caused by the treatment or it may be caused by the age differences. Other confounding variables in between subject design. First is a confounding from indiv individual differences which is called assignment bias. Participant per characteristic differ from one group to another. So, for example, if you have a group, the one, uh, the first group is uh, the taller or the smarter than the other group. So, the next is a confounding from the uh, environmental variables is a characteristic of environment differ between the groups. So, if you, if you tested your, the first group in the morning and the other group is tested in the evening, so they have the, uh, this at uh, what we call the environmental differences or uh, environmental difference. Next is an equivalent group. In a between, sub, uh, between subject experimental design, the researchers does have control over the assignment of individual to groups. The separate group must be first is created, created equally. Um, this is, should be similar for all the groups. And second is treated equally. Um, 
except for the treatment conditions also, um, treated, treated equally, it should be receive exact or the same experiences. And class is a composed of equivalent individuals. Um, it should be it should be similar in every other group. So, limiting confounding by individual differences. First is a random assignment or randomization. A random process is used to assign the participant to a group. So, random assignment also is that, that does not require in any measurement. So, random randomization is you randomize to get the participant to the other, to the, each groups. So, next is a matching groups or match assignment that involves assigning individuals to groups so that the specific variables is balanced or matched across the group. So, matching assignment uh, is requires a pre-testing to measure the variables being controlled. Then, next is a holding variables constant that is simply hold the variable constant. So, this is a, a holding variable constant is a limit that uh, extended uh, variables of the of the treatment condition. So next is an individual differences and variability. Individual differences have the potential to pro to produce high variability in the scores within the research study. So, <clears throat> so as you can see in the table, um, in the table, in the population A, the individual differences are relatively small, and while the in, uh, population B is a difference between the large relatively. So, We have a two tables here. The population A is also called an restricted range. So, and the population B is also called a wide range. So, as you can see, um, the population A is a large number and um, compared to the compared to the population B. So, the differences between treatment and variance within tre within treatment. So advantages, variability within treatment it can be increased by increasing differences between conditions or level. While the disadvantages, uh, variability within treatments is caused by individual differences or should be minimized. So. Minimizing variability within treatments, first in the standardized procedures and treatment setting. And next is a limit individual's differences by holding a participant variables constant. Next is a random assignment and matching. So, last is a sample size. Uh, using a large sample can help minimize the problem that associated with the high variability. So, next is other threats to in internal validity to of between subject design. First is a differential attrition. The uh, differential attrition is, um, you will notice a different, uh, the different characteristic of each participant and the different and the different characteristics before the treatment of each participant also. So, next is an assignment bias. Uh, assignment bias... Assignment bias is a participant withdrawal uh, from the study before it is completed. So, next is a diffusion or imitation of treatment. Uh, diffusion of or imitation of treatment is a um, treatment ef um, effect from the experimental group to the control group. And next is a compensatory equalization. It is an, uh, this uh, compensatory equalization is an untreated group learns the treatments 
received by another group. So, the comp next is a compensatory rivalry. It is an also, compensatory rivalry is an also untreated group learns from that, uh, learns the treatment that received by another group. And it also, the, um, the compensatory rivalry is have the extra work hard because can perform as well as individual that receive the special treatment. So, the recent, uh, last is a resentful demoralization. This is also the opposite of compensatory rivalry because it is a less productive and less motivated because they resent the expected authority of the, of the treatment or the treated group. Next is an application and statistical analysis of between subject design. So, first is a comparing only two groups of participants. So, um, it is refers the single factor to group design. And also, in this application, is you will also use the t-test for in the independent measurement. So, white why, what is the advantages of the T-test? So, T-test is an easy to set up the two group study. And in addition, the group of design is provide the best opportunity to maximize the differences between the two treatment conditions. So, so that if you may select the opposite extreme values for the independent variables. So, next is a comparing means for more than two groups. Um, you may also, for this application or for this statistical, is ANOVA for the statistical analysis. And for in addition, the extra group tend to reduce the difference between groups. So, comparing means for more two groups is uh, using the ANOVA is to, to the study or computed each group, the participant, and the single factor analysis of variance. So, lastly, is a comparing proportion for two or more groups. Um, this is a, a categorize or classified the category. Um, therefore, the data will consist the frequency that can each category on the scale measurement. So, Thank you.